Let's talk now with journalist and the vice chairman of Nigerian Institute of Public Relations uh, here in Lagos, Eniola Mayowa. It's good to have you join us. Good morning. Good morning. Thank You're you welcome. very much. Nice to see you. Same here. Thank Great. you. Great. Thank you. Uh, talking about coronavirus, uh, here in Nigeria, it, it does appear that the government is battling to control the spread and battling to control uh, information to circulate the right kind of information and to ensure that uh, misinformation isn't the norm. What do you have to say about uh, you know fake news versus uh, coronavirus here in Nigeria? I think government really need to push as much information into the space to really curb the spread of fake news. One, the battling of the illness, I mean it's something that is interesting to everybody. But again, when an issue is of national interest, of human interest, it is also expected that it will be attractive to fake news promoters. So I would say that the government needs to push as much information medically, what people need to do to protect themselves, and what they need to do also to curtail the spread. So it is important that government is on top of it, and the medical experts are talking. From our end, as the institute, we have seen that if you're not sure of the source, don't spread it. Mm. so that people are not panicking because, I mean, this is a situation that will attract panic, that a lot of people, again, mind you, we want to profit from all of this. So it is something that we need to consciously curtail, where everybody is on top of it to be able to manage the information as much as possible. All right. Now, there is, there is uh, the NCDC, the National Center for Disease Control, is reaching out, sending out, you know, updates on a daily basis. Even on social media, they're doing it. The, uh, the government of Lagos State, on the other hand, is organizing press, you know, press briefings almost every really? two, three days and, and here and there. How much more do you think they should do? Well, they always say that the room of improvement is the largest. Mm. If it means doing it on a daily basis, it's worth it. Because you want to also look at it, this spread, this in disinformation. I mean, if it goes out there, interestingly, fake news attracts more than the genuine news. Because probably it fits the need. It speaks what, what people want to hear rather than what they actually need to know. So, again, the information can be too much. The dissemination of the same can be too much. But how, how, would, you, how would you rate the impact of uh, the information that has gone out already? Because beside what the government is doing, the people themselves also have to quest after knowing what to do. Yes, the people need to know what to do. And the, I can say that the government is doing well. Like I said, they can do more. And again, it is for every one of us. Because mind you, there is a lot of people out there who really don't really know. They don't know as much as they do mm. need to know. They don't even know the right information to pick. And we also have people who want to profit, who wants to make gain, who wants to be relevant because of the situation we have at hand. So all of this needs to be put together for us to be able to say, hey, we should not allow anything that will cause panic. We should not allow anything that is not true to go into the space for people to consume. And, and talking about combating fake, fake news in Nigeria, globally it's also an issue, uh, government, so the uh, more attention is on social networking sites now, especially w w WhatsApp. Uh, is it an issue for us here in Nigeria? Because you, when you open your phone now, especially during the onset of uh, the first case detected in Nigeria, uh, there were so many messages, so <laughs> many <laughs> cures, yeah. so many yeah. <laughs> news, so to speak now. Uh, how do you expect the average Nigerian or the average phone user now uh, to gauge what is genuine and, and what is not? What's the institute or what is your perspective to this? Well, I would say that first, for you to be able to know that this information I'm getting is genuine, is authentic, the, the, the source is very important. Mm. Who is saying this? Is the person saying it qualified enough to say it? If you're not a medical doctor, there are some things you will say about coronavirus that I will question. Why did you say, where did you get your information from? You hear people say, okay, if you do, I mean, apply a kind of vaccine and what have you, if you do. Imagine the days of Ebola. People were taken to bathing with salt and what have you. So, I mean, for us, for as many people who are knowledgeable enough, let's pass the right information to the people who are not so knowledgeable so that they don't be victim of fake news and they don't run a tasketa when there's no need for it. All right, thank you very much, uh, Nila Mayawa, for coming on the program. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you very yes. much. And All right, joining us now is a journalist and the vice chairman of the Nigerian Institute of Public Relations, 
Lagos, Enyola Mayowa, is here to discuss how fake news is creating panic among the people as it comes to coronavirus. It's nice to have you join us right now. Thank you very much. Great. Now, I, I know you would have seen some of the viral videos and viral audio messages and even uh, graphics here and there telling people, recommending to people uh, what to take to avoid coronavirus and all of that. Now, when you see those, what really comes to your mind? One, what really comes to my mind first, I'm like, oh, people want to make profit from all of this. People want to create confusion. People want to be known. Because again, you will see some bloggers, they see this as opportunity to be, to be relevant, to drive traffic to their side. I see, oh, people want to be cheated. I see as a, people want to just create, I mean, anxiety mm. where they should just be Just some known. deliberate mischief somewhere. Deliberate mischief. That's what fakeness is all about. It's deliberate. For promoters of fake news, there's a motive. And essentially, it's for every one of us to understand it, especially where it concerns life, where it is about humanity. We need to be able to say, no, this is not the way to make profit. This is not the road to make money. This is not the way to get whatever it is that it is you want to get out of the system. So it is important that people should collectively say that, no, this is not a time to spread fake news. Mm -hmm. How do, you, how do you check this? If I say, or perhaps maybe I want to say, how do you nab people who, because we also have to streamline. There are people who just share these messages, not because they want to make profit or they mean mischief. Mm -hmm. They take it as, because it, they, they think it's real. <laughs> so how do you differentiate between, you know, the people that you need to make as scapegoats and people who genuinely just, you know, pass off these messages thinking they are, they're true? Okay, for people who just want to share, because you, you, you wonder sometimes, they competition, will people be paid for sharing news? So it is for you to understand, Father, don't share if you're not sure. If you don't, if you cannot confirm the authenticity of a story of a report, please don't share it. Uh, but, but the case, the, most of the cases, in fact, we've seen some <laughs> medical doctors who just come across and be like, wow, really? really? Is this true? Really? You know, and then the, 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 out of that excitement of saying, oh, it seems they've found, finally found a cure for coronavirus. And, and then they also share. <laughs> Honestly, I will not expect a medical doctor to do that. Mm. Because that will be calling to question your professionalism. Yeah. Mm. As a doctor, if you have any information, check. Find out. Cross-check with, I mean, with your knowledge and with other people. Yeah. Don't just go out there and spread it. Because people tend to believe medical doctors. Mm. They believe that he should know. This is the so it will be so unfortunate when you have a medical doctor spreading fake news. Mm. I've heard stories about, okay, hot water, if you apply hot water, or if you take garlic, or if you do some kind of funny <laughs> things, and you're wondering, how did you come about this? I've also read a story, somebody saying that for people who have beards, that they are very, mm. I mean, it can be contagious and mm. what have you. But maybe some of these things are not true. So the question is, why are you spreading it? If you are not sure, don't spread it. You are not going to be paid for spreading right. fake now, news. Be beyond all of this, uh, do you see the people questing after knowing what the issues are? Because, it, because there, are, there are graphical, uh, uh, simple or simplistic, itemized way to go what uh, coronavirus is sent out by the Ministry of, uh, of Health, WHO, the National Center for Disease Control. Even media stations have done all of these graphics sending out and they, are, they, they go viral as well. But people still, from people's um, interaction, you still see they don't have some of this basic information. How much of questing to know these things should the people do? I would just say that people need to be circumvent in sharing in whatever you're reading. Mm. Just be sure, read and also use your knowledge. Mm. Can this be true? Yes, we are, some, I mean, we are anxious because this is about life. Yeah. Mm. Everybody wants to be in this part of the world. Mm. But again, you need to check, you need to be sure that if this is not coming from the right source, for me, it should be questioned. Mm. If it is not coming from authority, so to speak, it should be questioned. And again, you know, some people have credit, I mean, they have established credibility for fake news. Mm. <laughs> so you also need to check, where is this coming from? Okay. It is very, very important. And again, when you also look at it, you wonder, okay, if you're saying that, if I do this, coronavirus will come in, I'm like, does this make sense? I've, I mean, for people who are knowledgeable, you should be able to say that, no, 
this is, I mean, it's not real. It's mm -hmm. not something that should happen ideally. Yeah. But again, we all need to be on top of information. All but right. we just need all to right. discern which information is right. Okay. Thank you very much, Eni Alamayo, for coming. Thank you.